enterprise perspective is becoming less and less of a question. We have people that are actually coming to us and we're not in this position where we have to sell them on WordPress. They've already made the decision that WordPress is the platform that they want to be on because that's the reputation that is preceding it. So people see it as being the, the most easy to use platform. People see it as being the platform of choice uh, and it's becoming the, the go-to for an enterprise grade solution. At its core, WordPress has uh, the set of features that any enterprise grade company would need, whether it be granular user permissions, whether it be content uh, editorial workflow, whether it be scalability, whether it be security, you know, it has the baseline of functionality that any platform needs to be considered an enterprise grade solution. Um, and then the benefit to WordPress, aside from other platforms that pr uh, present themselves as being an enterprise grade solution, is that it's extendable. So it's something that you can then tailor to your own specific needs. So the other thing that we're seeing is that companies are making the decision to go with WordPress uh, instead of you know, your site cores or Adobe Experience Managers because they don't come with those you know, crippling license fees and support uh, maintenance uh, plans that cost you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. It ends up being something where WordPress has the feature sets that are required for an enterprise uh, company and that they can take the funds that would typically be spent on licenses and support contracts and actually put that towards their marketing initiatives, not the just you know, the ability to get a site out the door. Integrations is another reason why WordPress is great for the enterprise. On every single one of our projects, we're integrating with something, whether it be a marketing automation tool, whether it be a third-party career vendor, or whether it be an investor relations company. You know, we're able to take data from another site and get it into WordPress, and we're also able to take work data from WordPress and send it over to another site. Um, WordPress as a platform has also become hugely flexible because of the evolution of the REST API. So we can also take that data that we put into your website and make it available to something else. You could have a, you know, a portal internally on your website where you want to pull your news and events into that. That's not a problem. We can expose that information and make sure that only your site is the one that's allowed to be able to pull that data in. But again, it becomes a true enterprise great solution is one that allows you to do what you need to do with your data and with your site and WordPress is a platform that gives that level of flexibility around integrations, whether it's going in or going out. So site management in general is another aspect of WordPress that's hugely beneficial both on the IT side and the marketing side. Uh, with WordPress multi-site, you can house literally every single WordPress site that, that you manage. And you can then have a central user database for people to authenticate against so that people can have, you know, you could have one person have access to three sites and another person have access to one site and then somebody else be a super administrator who has access to everything. Uh, the benefit there is, one, WordPress can handle it as a platform and the other part is the single point where people can make sure that your one solution is up to date, not that you're trying to manage, you know, 23 bespoke WordPress installs and user databases.